Here is a video that I have been working on for quite some time. I went ahead and built a house. It has a three car garage and an open floor plan. I'm going to refer to it in the series as a two story open floor plan home and provide you with a series of videos about the foundation, framing, stuff like that. But this is just an introduction video to give you an idea of the house. Let's take a look at the bottom. You can see here where the footings are going to represent um, the areas where a load will be transferred. And of course, uh, this was, will be a stairwell in here, which we will see later on. The garage is represented by the sunken area here. Let's go ahead and frame our first uh, story walls. And here we can see we've got windows, doors, the garage and the kitchen is going to be here and the stairwell over here there's going to be a bathroom here and I have a set of plans that I am going to provide you with in another one of the videos to um, help you with the process now I am not going to be providing a set of plans for this reason for that is there are just too many variations around the world and uh, keep in mind, my videos are not just watched in the United States. People are using this information all around the world, or at least I should stay in, say in English speaking areas. And so if I say, hey, this is how you build it, you know, this is how you, you know, you can build it. And you live in a different area where they have different rules. It's just a waste of time. You can still, though, provide this um this video to an architect or an engineer if it's something that you'd be interested in then they could help you design it and of course this is going to be in this video we're going to use two by four um, truss joists engineered truss joists and the reason for that is because of the span the span here I believe is 30 foot and uh, these things these babies right here will span that and I, I noticed in a, another guy who's popular has a popular series on YouTube or popular channel um, he loves these things I've never really been a big fan of engineered products um, because they can uh, fall apart conventional stuff seems to hold up but again I'm just trying to provide you with a different um, type of building design and uh, how they are assembled and put together here. So I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about what's going on. I'm going to provide that in the other videos. The stairwell here, and this of course is going to be a bathroom and a closet. Go back upstairs, the floor sheathing, wall framing for the second floor. And again, I'm going to have a set of plans here to give you an idea. You can look at this, you know, stop the video, compare this to what we got over here. Uh, an open area here, a the master bedroom, master bath, master closet, and then another bedroom, another bedroom with closet, closet, bathroom, and um, laundry area. And let's go ahead and put our ceiling joist in. Give you another view of the ceiling joist and then of course we're going to use a wall here for the ridge framing and this everything centered here and uh, this is I, I did this to give you an easier method for um, building something I know a lot of people have problems figuring out the roof height and stuff like that this can really make things a lot easier let's go ahead and put the rafters in And of course, the rafters are going to lap the gable end walls here. Fascia board. And then the roof is sheeted that quick. Would be nice, huh? If you could build things that fast. Another view of it there. Let's go to the back where the garage doors are located. Double car garage here, single car door. Now let's go ahead and go to the front of the building and here we can see the front door, a couple of windows and then one window in each one of the bedrooms. And that is it for this video. Now remember this is an introduction video. 
I will be putting together a series of videos, uh, building plans, um, working my way up from the foundation. I'm kind of trying and break it down into sections, the foundation, lower wall framing, joists, upper framing, all the way up to the top. And uh, depending upon how many views these get and how much of an interest, I might even take it a little step further and go into the plumbing electrical and quite possibly the heating and air conditioning and uh, even the drywall. I might uh, go ahead and go through that or the siding, um, stucco, stuff like that to kind of give you an idea of where my mind is, what uh, kind of a thought, press, thought process I actually use to build something like this.